trip of a lifetime. It was springtime in North America, and the trains were being really useful on their best behavior as they went up and down the line with passengers' freight and gender products. Women trains usually go through the countryside because it's peaceful and beautiful and the sun shines and the birds sing and the train cars behind clickety-clack as the woman locomotive leads the way with her goods behind as the freight on board is safe in one spot and that is why women trains are really useful indeed. Nolia, Gala, Selyse, and Tammy were on their way to the wharf to get recharged and as a crew change. They arrived in the siding just in time. Mr. Cakester was there. There you are, Gale, Nolia, Gala, Selyse, and Tammy, Mr. Cakester said. A new engine called Misha is coming later today, he said. So I'd like you to be on your best behavior by pulling a freight train with passengers today. 158 cars I want you to haul. Yes, we do, sir, said Nolia. And they steamed out of the siding. Here we go! Said, said the four engines. Women engines coming through. Before long, they arrived in the shunting yard to collect their train. And they were very excited. Before long, the freight cars were hitched up together. And the train pulled away. It was long. Passenger was buying a snack in the cafe car. It was a hamburger and a hot dog, and it was yummy. And the train moved along with the freight cars in front and coaches in the rear. And the wagons clattered along as Nolia's driver and fireman stayed in the cab as she chuffed along. It's good to be puffing said Nolia, and the passengers in the double-decker coaches saw the whole train ahead of them. And over on the bridge, some pedestrians were standing, and they were waving to the engines as they passed by. It was a long train, but the big engines carried on, with all the coaches and freight cars. Here we go, Nolia, Gala, Selyse, and Tammy said. And they clattered along. Just then, they passed the, a repair yard for engines. It was luxury with lots of walls and it was very expensive, which was $200,000. And the... And the four engines steamed down the line. Here we go! Nolia, Gala, Selyse, and Tammy said. I hope we can make it to our destination on time. <coughs> Nol Nolia was feeling pleased with herself as well as her trailing units. Here we go, Gala said. Because woman train is coming through. Off we go into the mountains. And the train was huge. And then they clattered over the bridge due to the clicking of the rails. As they were being really useful. And then there was trouble. The train was very heavy and it made the engines go really fast. We can't stop! Nolia, Gala, Selyse, and Tammy said, 
The train is too heavy! <laughs> Meanwhile, Ava and Juliet were telling Misha all about their journey. That's exciting about pulling freight trains, said Misha. I've did that on my railroad before. Well, Trusescat is a new island, said Ava. It's the next one over. That's right, said, said Misha. I have to be really useful in my behavior. If the points are in the right position, said Juliet. I hope they are. But, but they spoke too soon. The points ahead were in the wrong position. The points are in the wrong position, and that could lead to a collision, said Ava. I think you're right, said, said Misha. And they were right. Nolia, Gala, Selyse, and Tammy were out of control. I don't know how to stop the train, Nolia said. It's too heavy. <laughs> and the, the freight cars clattered along. We've got to stop, cried Hagela. The train is going fast. No, it's not, <sighs> said said Nolia. We're going 100 miles an hour. A collision is imminent, yelled Ava and Juliet. You're right, it is, said Misha. I'd better get out of the way because it's going to be catastrophic. And she steamed out of the, the way while Nolia was fast approaching. There's something in my way, cried Nolia. We have to stop. Nolia's driver slammed on the brakes. But it was too late! <laughs> oh no! They cried! We're derailing! And they toppled over. Um, as the other cars bounced on the sleepers. We're tipping over! Oh! It's gonna cause havoc for our boilers! And fire raged and... Crates exploded and they came to a stop on their right hand side. Sorry, Eva and Juliet said Gala. We didn't have time to stop. No problem, said Ava. The points weren't aligned properly. When Misha saw the wreck, she was surprised. Luckily, no one was hurt, but the freight cars and Nolia, Gala, Salise, and Tammy were covered in Sticky jam and lots of melted butter and cheese. And the wreck was catastrophic, and the train cars were derailed. And no one was hurt or worse. A few minutes later, Mr. Cakester was on board Sasha's express train. She was coming back from Rondonia Cleborianis. She was on her way to Wunzinghaf. And she steamed into the station as to get a crew change. She pulled up to a standstill. I don't think we're gonna love this said Gala. I don't think we are, said Ava.
about? I won't, said Juliet. A few minutes later, Mr. Cakester arrived. He was not happy. Thanks for saying sorry to Juliet and Ava for smashing into them head on, Mr. Cakester said it firmly. But you should never have gone fast down a steep grade going out of control. I'm sorry, sir, said Nolia. But sir, said 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 Nisha, would it be okay if Maureen takes the first half and I take the second while Juliet pulls the express and Sasha cleans up the mess and Maureen can lead our way. How do you like that, sir? I love that idea, Mr. Cakester said. Why don't you give it a try? And she steamed off to the station. There's been a head-on collision, said Misha. Can you clean up the mess while the rest of us deliver the goods to the terminus? I really love that idea, Sasha said, because Mr. Cakester needs more assistance by us, so you're going to have your own controller one day, Sasha said, and you're going to really love that, of course. A few minutes later, Misha buffered up to the brake van. I'm glad to be upright again, said Nolia. And Sasha steamed off with the gondola cars. And Juliet steamed off with her passenger cars. Express coming through! Said, said Juliet. On the express train! Maureen and Misha were doing a good job. I enjoyed doing a good job, M Maureen said from up front, because I'm a really useful engine. And even though that accident was pretty bad, all the engines can only hope that something like that is never repeated in the future. The engines are happy now because they always do a good job of the number of cars they pull, which is good.